once again hit the wrong button. That happens sometimes. Get that down there. Yeah, there we go. Hello, world. How are y'all doing tonight? Uh, as tradition dictates, have a sip. Of not quite cold Sprite. Um, hello, folks. How's everybody tonight? Hope you're all doing well and doing good and all that jazz. Uh, oops. Let's go to Woodshed, Alan Smith, Prod. Oh, actually, I don't need to do that. I can go here. Uh, that's not going to work, is it? Why didn't that get big? Should have, when I made a new tab, should have gone to this one. Why didn't it? Now the font size is right. Yeah, that's better. Uh, Hugo serve. So we can actually get back to our stream notes and chat for a little bit about what's going to happen tonight. Uh, oh, page visited. This is the thing I built last night. And it's picking up all the pages that I went to today, which is awesome. Uh, I need to edit that thing. I've got two scripts right now. One that I use at the end of a stream to capture all the open tabs for the stream notes. And then this one, which does a similar thing, but does it throughout the day. And one of the things I'll, I've got on the list is to update the new one so that it kind of always makes a most recent batch so that I can just grab that one for stream notes when it's ready or when I'm ready for the stream to be over um, to make it a little bit easier to deal with. Um, and that because I do a bunch of uh, scrubbing to get um, localhost and work stuff out of these. And then also like I put YouTube in front instead of behind on all the titles. So I only want to maintain that config file in one place and only really have one script that doesn't. It's like, it's all doing the same thing. So just we'll do that at some point. Um, but stream notes, here we go. Uh, start to two. So uh, first thing I want to do is get YouTube's autoplay working with Hugo. Um, Hugo short codes. Um, I talked about this on one of the other streams, but kind of what happens is if we go to YouTube. Oh, and actually I'm going to do this. Let me go copyright free test music. Uh, whoops. Why isn't it coming up? The spots are there. Why isn't it open? Works on localhost. Why is it working in prod? Oh. Ba -ba -ba. Like here's the embed. There's nothing about Now it decides to work. Who knows? That was really weird. Uh, so if I play music, I'm going to play these because these are copyright free. I got a copyright bust for like 50 seconds of just like that much of the video of one of the videos that I was looking at the other day when I was kind of messing with this stuff. So these are copyright free images with copyright free music. So I'll be using these to test with anyways. Um, but as you can see for this embed, this one is set to autoplay, but it doesn't. <laughs> Firefox, is that going to work? I can't remember how this works. Um, thinking no okay so there's these browser controls that are inside the browser or these browser subsystems that if you have interacted with a page before on a site it will let you autoplay but if you haven't or if you've stopped it it won't let the autoplay go um 
And so what we can actually do is play with it just a little bit on uh, this page. And I have to get blood work done, by the way, in case you were wondering. Um, so let's get this going. So here's our embeds. And I'm just going to throw this on this page. And so I'm going to play this, actually, because I want to see what happens if after playing this and pausing this, we go to stream notes. Still didn't go. It's weird. Like, it, it's tough to tell what the criteria is. Like, I've seen it play occasionally. Um, with sound is the trick, but because what should happen is if we do this and tell it to mute, now it's auto playing. And so there's this weird thing where sometimes it'll play with sound if the browser thinks it can play with sound, but if not, it won't play at all. And so what I want to do is come up with code that lets it play if play like attempt to play it with sound but if that doesn't work then play it muted um and i spent some time on that the other night and i actually don't know where i put that code um we're gonna fix it's probably in here uh Oh, where did I put the code? I got some code that worked. I have no idea where I put it. And that's gonna be tough to find. Uh... I don't think it's in here. Those aren't streams. It's a different thing. That's that. This is the one that busted me. I'm not sure about that. There's a daily link grabber. Okay. It's not in that one. This is one we were just on. Getting Hugo out of play. Oh, wait. Oh. Uh... October 13th. Wow, it's been a few days since I worked on this. Uh... But see, that one auto-played. And now it stopped. Wait a minute, is this the one... Hang on. Maybe this is the one that has the code on it. Uh, crap, what did I do with it? That's a bummer because I spent some work on that code. Where did I put that? All right, we got to go find it. Um, did I do it on localhost? Maybe I did it on localhost. Um, Launchpad, prod, uh, credentials, commands, gifts, launchers, scratch pad, video audio play, audio play. Okay, there we go. Uh, so this feels familiar. Yeah, so this is where we did the work last time. Um, and we made a bunch of progress, and I think we're pretty close with the basics of it. So 
So I'm actually going to switch over this link just to go to one of these, just so it's music. So I can hear something, even though I won't really be able to hear it. Now the question is, yeah, so I want to do this under, I might as well do it on the stream notes page, right? Tonight, okay. So we're gonna open this with Sublime Text 3, so it's in a different one. Yeah, and this is where I don't totally understand what I'm doing. Oh, uh, crap. I forgot about that. So this is what we need to do. Okay, I'm with it now. Is, why is that one up there? Why is that one up there? Let's open our Hugo directory. So we want to make a new short code. And all I'm going to do with this short code is just completely hack it to start with. Um, we're just going to paste all this in. Not pass any parameters, no nothing, just straight short code. You gotta have, you have to use the name of it, and YouTube Auto Play is a long thing. So, um, YT Auto use HTML. Now the question is, if we come back here, I have to go through all this stuff. Copyright free music. Okay, we got that. We're gonna actually grab this for our test run for video ID. And close that. So now, is that a short code? working so that's it um yeah I, I thought i had it mostly done um a lot of cleanup to have happen here but this is a good start of it so there's some things to think about here because JavaScript is required to do this. And like you don't want to, if you include three videos, one, you don't want them to all autoplay. I don't, I don't know what the browser would think about that. Um, but what you could do, so I'm just trying to figure out what the sleep function should be, so let's sleep, what the function name should be. But first things first, let's pass 
the uh hey steve what's up man green screen machine yeah you like it look at my arm it's disappearing um actually it goes right to the oh no it's a little bit too much i should move that eh, whatever it's fine um thanks man the uh yeah the the one bummer with this is i've got all these lights on now and it's way brighter than i normally code so Oh well, that's the price we pay for being streamers, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've got three separate lights in here. Um, and the photographer in me is actually probably gonna end up like lighting it for real. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, the uh this one's gonna be a side light too. Um But no, it's uh it's Definitely, I'm definitely enjoying it, and I like the I like the view of this a lot better, because um, we I've got a bigger screen, so or the window can get larger, so I can actually see have more lines on the screen, and that makes them smaller for me, so I can actually see what's going on, um, which is way better. Uh, but it's pretty good, I like it. Um, but yeah, so now we got to figure out how to pass in. Um, thanks, man. Appreciate it. I'm like nodding like you can see me. Hey, yeah. I can see you. The I've, I've got you on screen over here. You don't know about that one? It's the camera with the... Look to your left. No, no, your left. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, wave, wave to Steve, everybody. Um, or say hi to Steve, everybody. <laughs> uh... So the first thing we should do is pass in, we're ready to cheat and look at the existing YouTube function. Um, oh, what is this YouTube no cookie? I need to look what this uh, is. Seems official. That's a weird result. Video with primary hats. Embedding videos using privacy hands and a cookie URL. in the privacy option. Looks like they removed the non dub 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 version for some reason, although doing that without adding the automatic redirect is kind of a weird move. Perhaps it's just temporary problem error. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like it's an official thing. But like, I'm surprised that didn't bring up like docs about it or something. Of course, Google doesn't really want you going with no cookies. Yeah, it's weird that this first link is this. Like, that's some good SEO magic. Fabio con calves. Calves, calves, whatever. Um, I guess I should leave that open so it's in the mix. Eh, nah, whatever. Screw that one. But I don't see... Why... Hmm, interesting. Um, if pages site config privacy YouTube, if no PC, if not PC dot disable YouTube. So basically it'll flip to YouTube or YouTube no cookie. And then get ID with default, de default zero, get class default one. 
And then there's an autoplay in there, which we didn't use. Um, yeah, this class isn't documented. Um, but okay, we can do... We'll just do the same thing, right? So I'm not going to drop the class in there right now. We'll drop the ID going the same way. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's it's a GDRP thing uh, is to not exactly loophole, but to deal with it in terms of like, if you're tracking with cookies on your site, you've got to do all the GDRP stuff. If you put a YouTube thing on there, even though you don't control it, that fires cookies back and forth. So I'm guessing that's part of it. Um, I don't know. I want to do a little more research on it, but like that that's what it smells like. So um, and part of me is just gonna do so like there is actually a, there is some minor benefit to cookies on YouTube in terms of it's tracking you but it's that's how it feeds the recommendation engine but oh no but I still have to make the I so I have to make this decision um so like if I, cause if I'm setting this config, that would still be my site. This isn't a user um, config. So uh, we're just gonna go with YouTube, no cookies and make that not be a thing. Um, assuming all the rest of this stuff works with it. So we'll come back before we start messing with that. We're gonna get the basics up and running. Like step one, get it working. Um, so right now that's not even in the mix cause everything's hard coded down here. Here's the hard coded. Uh, all this frame API and all the stuff that I'm doing, I want to check and see. We can check and see later if it works uh, on the on the other one. But for now, we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. So here's our ID. So now we're going to pass our ID here. Uh, we're going to find our tab. There we go. Oh, wait. And see, now it's auto playing with sound. I have no idea why, but that's the thing we're solving for is if it plays with sound, that's awesome. If it doesn't, then we'll play it muted because if you if you try and play it with sound, if you just try and auto play it and the sound's on and the browser doesn't want you to do that, it just stops. It doesn't auto play. So I want it to auto play with mute if that's the only option. Um, and who knows why it worked that time. Uh, they really want me to watch about time, um, which I don't even know what that is. Okay, so there's there's our ID. So we're passing in our ID, and so now we should be able to grab that and drop it. YouTube post. Here's ID. So that's what ID looks like. Uh, here, and then. Just to prove that, we should get a different, whoops. Definitely broke it. Undo. Redo, what did I do? Why didn't that? What's going on? Uh, maybe I should have read the error. Oh crap, because it's inside HTML. Shit. Um, so, Hugo parses all this stuff in Markdown, which is not, wait, no, that should, hang on. Why didn't that work? Because it's just plain text coming through. What was that error? Is it working again? No, okay, I screwed something else up. Undo. Undo. Save. Okay, yeah, I screwed something else up. Okay, so there's working again. Here's working again with the new file, with the new video which again has stopped, but now it's playing muted because that, okay, so the code's working. 
Um, but why did it bust? Try that. Works. We've got, oh, wait a minute. No, ID, yeah, that should work. Don't know what I did the first time, uh, but it's working now. All right, so that's our basics. We can pass the ID. I'm not gonna worry. Well, so the whole thing with this would be for autoplay. So it's gonna, I wanna, we're gonna start with that and then we'll figure it out from there. So there's our div, here's our script. Uh, all right, let's figure out what all this stuff does. Um, Cause what you could do in order to avoid function collisions is just do like, Oh, except no, you can't do that because I was going to say what you could do is just drop in the ID as an append to each one of the functions, but it's possible that it would have illegal characters uh, for function names. So you can't do that. Um, you could just, I don't know yet. We'll have to figure it out. Random something. Um, let me get the first one working first and then we'll go from there. Uh, even though actually the f first one is working. Like, where's my other? Pause. Uh, so if we grab this ID, come back over here. So right now we've got the megaphone, but if we paste that in, there's our hamsters. Okay, so that's the top level of it, right? That's it. Um, if I was smart, I would commit that. Uh, there we go. Why is the font, is that the big enough font? Yeah, I guess it is. Also, it's not centered. Maybe it is, I don't know, whatever. Um, YouTube, autoplay, initial version. Cool. Thanks, Steve. Um, I, I was doing some tests and in the first one, it was about 20 lines or sorry, about 24 lines. Um, but now I'm like closer to 30, but it's a bigger screen. So I'm, I need to watch a few more of them um, and just kind of pick it out. But it's, I mean, it's, it's close enough, but um, I may bump it just a little bit for people with smaller screens. Um, but this is like, I'm fine with this. This is fine. Uh, okay. So we got, we got the, I mean, it's working. So now what we need to do is figure out how to make it work. So we can make it work a little bit faster. So we're doing, so this is the loop that we're going over. And the way that this works is when the iframe is ready, when it's ready to basically make the call, um, it calls out and makes a new player object and you pass it the ID and then you give it some functions for when it's ready and when the state changes. Uh, what did I do with all this? Console event target player staging. Oh, so that's the log I was doing. Oh, so this, yeah. Uh, on player state change. We don't want to get rid of this because that stops it after six seconds, which isn't helpful for us. Uh, we're going to leave that there though. Uh, on state change. So here's on state change, which calls on player state change, which is this function. So I'm actually just gonna take that all the way out and take that out. And now we're gonna run it and see if it still plays. All right, works. Oh yeah, it worked. Oh, you can't hear, I just turned it up the music. There it is. 
Um, the whole point is that it won't go if uh, if it's silent. Um, all right, so that's working. Function stop video. I guess you have to define that. You shouldn't have to. Why is that set? Because like it's going to stop. Right now I'm just trying to take out all the code that I don't need to deal with. And like this var done. Player state change. The API calls this function when the player's state changes. The function indicates that when a when playing a video in state one, the player should play for six seconds then stop. So if it's playing and it's not done, the bang means not, which is false. So it's set to false. Set a timeout of six seconds. Oh, and then run stop video. Okay, so this is where it's calling stop video. Yeah, so we don't need stop video. Um, and we, we can get rid of done. Uh, this console log was the thing that I did. Oh, wait. Ooh, don't do that. So I need this swimming, uh, squirrely bracket down there. This I can get rid of. So here's player on ready event. This APL, API will call the function when the video player is ready. Play video. Gotcha. So that's what kicks off the video when it's ready. Yeah, so on ready, do this. So the first thing that loads is all this jazz. It gets everything set up. Once it's set up, it fires off this function, which calls the function to actually play the video. Um, and play video is a built-in one. You won't see, I don't think. Yeah, player play video and target play video. It's the same thing. Player and target end up being the same thing. Um, so that's what gets it started. But it gets that, but that gets short circuited if uh, if the browser's not allowed to have audio. Uh, let's bring one of these over here. Uh, actually, let's go to a new private window and see what that does. There you go. Okay. So I've made interactions somehow that the browser thinks it's cool to allow sound to play automatically. Generally speaking, you shouldn't do that on websites, which is why this whole thing is, is a deal. But if what's crazy is if I refresh the page, it won't let it play with sound, but then my function should kick in and let it, and let it play muted. So that's exactly what's supposed to happen. Um, all right, so on player ready event target go. Okay, so this these are the pieces of code that we need. Um, I'm gonna leave all that stuff commented out for now. We're gonna come here, we're gonna come here. And then, so what I do is I call this function, and this is where I get a little outside of my league, because there's this asynchronous function that's looking for uh, the state of the player. So if we come down here and look at our console, uh, is it playing? I think it's playing. Yeah, so This one, actually, let's put something in there so we can see what's happening. Um, so for i equals zero, while i is less, less than 50, keep incrementing i, so count from zero to 50, or 49, because it's less than 50. Sleep three seconds. So really what I want to do is If the player state is two, and where did I have my player states? Uh, crap, I closed it. 
Or is it in here? There it is. We're going to put that in stream notes. So player state two is paused. Because what happens is when it when the video first plays, like right now, let's actually see what it does. I'm able to post message to YouTube, failed. All kinds of stuff is bad there. Big errors. Why isn't it posting my uh, stuff? Find the right browser, find the right window. Um, all right, I think I can close that for now. Oh, because I took out all the console log stuff. Player state, no, it should be doing it. Oh, 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 okay, hang on. Um, so we call our function, and this is the function that watches the state of the player. So is the player, the player will be in one of those five states, or maybe was it six? So it's either gonna be negative one, which is unstarted, zero, which is ended, it's done, one for playing, two for pause, three for buffering, five for video queued. Um, and what we want is when the, the way that we got this to work is that when a page loads and it's set to autoplay, but the browser stops it from playing, the player gets shifted into state of paused, which is ID number two, um, or index two. So what we do is we fire off a function that looks at the player state after a few seconds. If that player state is in player state two, we mute it and then we play the video because if once it's in a muted state, the browser lets it go. Um, so this is where the mechanics happen. Um, what I don't understand is why it didn't give me a console message here the first time through because it should have fired this should have fired oh player state one player state one so it's playing now let's see if two doesn't come up there's two so it's paused because the the state that it ends and there's one so we started it so that's it getting started and now I keep try I keep yeah, so you see the playhead moving. Um, the reason that number keeps going up is because I'm after it plays, I'm not bouncing out of this function, which is the last thing that we need to do here. So I'm gonna I'm, that'll go 49 times, um, or minus however many, um, to to just keep going through this loop. Because but really, once we've made this play, we can exit this function because once it's started we're good, we've done the job. Um, what We mute it, then we start it. Um, so let me get rid of this while we're here. Sleep in the loop. So I'm gonna sleep for one second. And we're only looking for it to be paused. Now the one, now the one trick with this is if the video has auto played and it's actually playing, and somebody pauses it and this loop is still going, it will unpause it. I didn't think about that. Um, all right, we're gonna deal with that next. First, we're gonna jump out of this loop. Um, so asynchronous function, console.log, looking at player. And then console.log finished messing with player. <coughs> okay. And then we're gonna back this off. I just wanna make sure like these things work. So we're gonna do four loops through. So looking at player, we're looking at the player state. That fires immediately. Whoa, something freaky happened there. I don't know what that was. Oh, this time it plays. Oh. It's playing in multiple windows. 
I'm open somewhere else. Uh. Oh, there. And this one's playing. Good lord. I had a lot of windows open with the uh, with sound going there. Um, let me close those back a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, that one we got. That one we got. There's another one. Okay. Let's look at this now. So there we go. Looking at player. Oh, it got a, a status code of three, two, one. Okay, there you go. Counted down. That's nice. Finish messing with player. Oh, because it only looped through four times. One, two, and then that two is how many times it saw the one. So then it should be playing, right? Yep, it's playing muted. That happened fast though. So what is state three? State three is buffering. Okay. All right. So if we see, well, so we can just bounce out of it after a few seconds because the likelihood, well, no, if it's playing, okay, whatever, we're going to deal with that later. Um, but I do want to bounce out of the function if we're done with it. JavaScript exit or break loop. What's the syntax? Should just be break. Expected output three. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, Where's our page? There's our page. So if we hit two, console log, kicking off player. Didn't need to do it that time. So there's three, which is buffering, and then one. So it went into a played state. Oh, actually, you know what we should do? I'm curious to see. We're going to burn through this pretty quickly. Three, buffering. Two, kicked off player. So now it's moving in mute. Got it. And it kicked out. So we it didn't go over the loop anymore. It just went from buffering to seeing it paused, it fired it up, and then it broke out of the loop. So as soon as it did that, and as soon as it saw it, it went. Now the question is, so what we could do is if we saw it hit one, you could also use that to break out of the loop because that would mean that it's playing. And the assumption there is that the state doesn't go into being played during right before the browser stops it. Uh, in other words, if you reload the page and the browser is going to stop it, it doesn't enter a state of being in play, so it doesn't go to that state one until the browser stops it. So as long as there's no window there, but by waiting a second, um, we should be fine. Um, you could get really crafty with the way that you looked at it because you could like look for buffering, you could look for the first, the first change and if that first change is one, wait a second and see if it's still like, I don't know, whatever, it's fine. Um, we're just going to wait a second, let it clear for a second, and then kick in. Um, and so if we see two, we're going to we're gonna just watch it for 10 seconds. But if, if we see it... So because we're waiting a second, we're going to wait one and a half seconds. If we see it go into 
a playing state of play state of one, we're also going to break the loop. That will stop it. If the video audio plays, auto plays, it goes into state one. If somebody pauses it, it goes into state two. So when it goes into state one, we're going to stop looking for state two. That way, if somebody hits pause, it doesn't just immediately start playing in their face again. Um, so that's that should be good. I don't really have a good... Whoa. Requests. I don't know. What? Google Ads double click. Is that coming from... That must be coming from the YouTube stuff. Because that's not on my page. Let me just make sure it's not on my page. Uh, where's my page? That's my page. So if we cut that... It's that okay, that's going through YouTube. And I've got some blockers in there that are knocking it out. That's what's happening. Um, so buffering, it was in state two because it was muted, and now we're doing it. Okay, that's it. We got it. Um now we gotta turn that into a short code. So before we do that, let's commit that again. Whoops, look at that. Oh, I had a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't do um, or I didn't commit before. Set up to not auto play YouTube if user pauses. All right. Now, since we got it in the Git repo, we can actually drop a bunch of this stuff out just to clean it up. So I don't know what calls, and I don't really know, am I using this sleep? Slap, oh wait, sleep, function sleep milliseconds, yeah, okay. I don't totally understand. This stuff is all new since the last time I did JavaScript, which has been years, so. I don't understand what this is doing at all. I just recognize you sleep and you pass it some, some milliseconds and it does that. Um, one of these days I will go back and figure out what the hell that actually means. Yeah, so tag document create element script. Okay, so we're making an element with a source code coming from, or the source coming from YouTube I, iframe API. First script tag we're getting this script. This is something we'll have to watch out for. Because if there's other scripts on the page, this is going to bust. Um, first script tag, parent node, insert before, tag, first script tag. Um, again, I don't have to totally understand this, which is nice. Uh, but I want to make, I want to try and understand it so I don't break it. Um, this function creates an iframe and YouTube player after the API code downloads. Yeah, so this, inside this script, we make another script dynamically that loads the iframe API, which I just wanna see what's at that URL. All that, so it pulls all that stuff down. Now, why you don't include that? I don't know. This is an interesting technique. Also, there were hamsters down there on the recode or on the next tag. Do I call this hamsters? I'm trying to figure out how YouTube knew, knew that those are hamsters. Was that recognition or? No, nah, I think I have the word hamster in the thing. All right, so here's all the code that it does, which is magic, cool. So we've got this, we're gonna make it. So this this is what we gotta, out, gotta watch out for because that, it, so get elements by tag name with the tag name of script is looking for scripts. It's going to find all the scripts on the page. And zero means the first one because it's zero indexed. So 
if there is a script up here, S C R I P T T. Wow, I can't do the thing. Wait, that still worked. I did not expect that to work. Oh, look at that mutant go. Okay, maybe that's not that big a problem. Oh, 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 it doesn't matter where... It's just looking for a script to put this in front of. It doesn't actually matter that it's this particular script. So it was actually, excuse me, putting it up here. But that's okay, because it's just loading a new script. That's fine. This is a very, like, I don't understand why you do this. Um, instead of just making a straight script call, but these people know what they're doing, so. All right, this function creates an iframe in YouTube player after the API code loads. Sweet. And here's where we get into trickiness with the multiple things. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to build this tag for just one um, for just one script or or excuse me just one video or for multiple because if like some of this stuff like div id player like that's a single thing on the page like that one I do know um, and also so let's figure out yeah, let's do this Goes iframe player asynchronously. Oh, it does it asynchronously. Okay. That's how that happens. I gotcha. So it's not a, it doesn't block anything. Um, not really, anyways. And then, so this is going to be player watcher. Watch, player, er, jumpstart. What do we want to call this? Um, player paddles, like the heart shocking paddles. I don't know. Um, jumpstart player. Mute and go if you need it. No, jump start player. And what's weird is it seems like it doesn't matter where we call that. So I'm just going to call it there and let it go because it's just going to run as a loop. And it's looking for player get status. Oh, whoops. We need, definitely needs to be below that. All right, we're gonna put it all the way down here. And I don't totally get the async stuff. I feel like this could break somehow. Like if, player doesn't get loaded, or they get player status doesn't get loaded. Somehow this feels fragile. Because if the... We're waiting, we're waiting a couple seconds before we check the player. Here, let's check... So if we turn this off, I don't know, that's fine. Uh, th this will be the first version. We'll see what happens. Um, so 
So we're getting the ID. Here, let's actually let's see what this does. It does not work. Okay, don't have that choice. So, okay, so let's look at Hugo safe escape. Safe HTML. Because what we want to do is Actually, does it have, does Hugo have MD5? Can we hash it just so that we don't have to worry about anything? MD5, Hugo. MD5 input. So let's just test this. If we do that here, we should see a whole bunch of gobbledygook. Nope. Why did that work? Uh, hello? What's going on? Oh, can you only do that in templates? You can only do that in templates. That's what's happening. So let's go to the template, or the short code. Let's go to the short code. And right above the player, let's try that. There's our hash. Okay. So now we can use that as our as our unique string. Um we can take the ID hash it and this will work as a unique identifier for all the pieces of code that we want to put in and that's how we can get separation between the different um, the different elements if somebody puts in multiple videos uh, that'll work so how do we make an assignment so it looks like the one will just take out the white space because that's cool. Um, so hash colon equals that. So hopefully it disappears. Yep, and it still loads. And now if we do underscore those things with hash with that thing, Oh, the ID is different now. So we're just, I'm just changing all the names, but I don't want to change that function call or that function call. Jumpstart players. Cool, but no, we actually want to have its own function. There's no way this works. Oh, whoops. Well, the page didn't break. I mean, it didn't like not compile. We're gonna back all the way out of that. Just make sure we're live again. There we go. Okay, ID. Well, so one, let's just make sure this actually works. There's our hash, okay. So now we got that as a string. New YouTube player. Trying to figure out where it throws it into that element. I'm guessing it's right there. So let's start by seeing if we can get this to load. Okay, that still loads, that's cool. So that's targeted.
Now, can we rename all the other places? Player, player, not that one, not that one. I'm gonna leave that for a minute. And do this, this. Does not like that because the JavaScript thinks it's a thing. All right, what's that gonna do? Crap. Why didn't that work? Var player. All right, so this should break it. Var player one, right? How's that still working? Yeah, it's still working. What? I guess it doesn't need it to be global somehow. Um. All right, let's take out our function and just see if we can get it to play this way. Is this, is that illegal? Wait, hang on. Let's put our hash back in so we can see it. All right, so we have player here and here. So that still worked. There's our hash. That still worked. Why the hell didn't that work? Oh, oh, no. Does it need those? It shouldn't. If I was smart, I'd look at the source code of the page. Let's be smart. Oh, it's putting it in quotes. Wait, why the hell is it putting it in quotes? Didn't do it up here. Uh, what's going on there? What if we do that? Still didn't work. Why is it in quotes here? but not in quotes here. No, this isn't right. Um. Is happening because there's not here what if we do that does that change it no
can I short insert short code parameter without quotes? This sounds Ah, uh, maybe this. Pipe it to safe HTML. See what that does. Crap. Nope. Some quotes. Because look, it's working right here, and it's not working right here. All right. We're going to copy this, and we're going to paste it. And they're going to be different. One of them not in quotes, the other one in quotes. To enable the rendering of equations, I need to put a formula in a script that uses that. Short code is called with that. That's exactly the problem I'm having. A short code with inner content seems like a better fit for this. Okay. I think it's coming from the HTML template, not short codes. Smart enough to detect that you're printing a variable in a script context and therefore escapes it. It looks like the right way around this is to call template JS, but there's no safe JS function available for template a call. Uh, sounds like a good feature to add. Yeah, not helpful. Unless there's some way to convince the HTML template to not handle that like it handles JavaScript. This article shows pretty good that the quotation is added to prevent cross-site scripting attacks and other abuse. There I would suggest to add a filter named safe JS Hugo. The following error message was the wrong type of value, expecting string, got template HTML. Converting inner to a string, remove the error but the equation still in quotes. Seems it would be easier to drop this optional feature for a theme. Similar problem, all right. Trying to inject a variable in the script. Yes. The problem is the output looks like that. Yep, Google Maps wants coordinates not to be in quotes suggestions. This may help. Oh, so safe JS. When was this, 2015? <laughs> worked. Oops. Oh, save. Save yes. Oh, one word. Hey, look at that. Go. Use safe JS for strings in JavaScript. How do you incrementally increase a string of repeated numbers? I have not done 
much Java at all. Jeez, and I haven't done it in about 20 years. Um, so quick question, how do I incrementally increase a string of repeated numbers? Like, what do you mean a string of repeated numbers? Like actually a string or like an integer that you would have? Because we can probably figure this out. Let me know and we'll see if we can, we can probably solve it. Actually, I don't, I don't think you even have Java on my machine, tell you the truth, but we can probably figure something out uh, if you can run some code. Uh, okay, so save JS for the win. here of the stuff that we're doing for my reference. So if we do that, some string. The instruction it says to increase a string of zero bytes on the length of a variable to match it. Hang on. Increase a string of zero bytes. Okay, so you got a, a null string based off the length of a variable to match it. Is the variable like a number, or is the variable another string, and you need to you need to match it? Because if the variable is just a number, you could set up, if I'm following this right, you could set up a for loop. I'm assuming Java has for loops. Java appears to have for loops, loops in Java. Yes, so, or a while loop, either one. Yeah, for init condition increment decrement code to be executed. So you could do, you could basically just like add, add an A. It does it have to be any particular value in the string or can you just do like A, 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 A? Because if you could do that, you could basically just look at the string, pull it in empty as nothing, have a for loop, that is, oh, it has to be a zero. Oh, okay, yeah, so um, so you just add zeros in, but you would just have, you'd run your for loop and you count over your variable for however many, like if, if the variable is 10, you just run the for loop and then you do your existing string or new string equals existing string plus one zero or with one uh, zero added. And every time you go through the loop, it would just incrementally add one more zero to the to the end. And the only thing you'll have to watch out for is an off by one error. Um, like for here, this says start at one and go to less than or equal to 10. So that would actually do 10. If you do just less than, it ends up at nine. Um, and that might be off by one. Because you want to start at zero. I, you'll, Watch out for the off by one index. You'll have to just verify that it gets kind of locked in there um, or that you've got the right number of, of hits for it. Um, if, but if I'm following you, that's that would be a way to do it. Um, yeah, that should do it. If if I'm if I'm following you, that that should get you there. Uh, if I'm not following you, let me know. We'll see if we can figure it out, uh, something else out. Um, yeah, I've done basically no Java. Ooh, 404, that didn't go so good.
That was a link from 2015. Huh. All good. Like, I've been doing it for a long time, but I've never done Java um, with any particular stuff. So it's all it's all just learning. Um, sometimes it's suckier than others, but it's usually pretty good. Uh, key base vulnerability. That's bad. Uh, all right. So here we go. This is definitely help on workflow. This is a favorite. Um, so how do we MD5 on the command line? Yes. Uh, so MD5 string, some string. Doesn't really have to be some string, but. Uh, I guess we could actually do it for real. Some string. So this is what we would have if we ran this. Without safe JS, it would screw up and give you this. Whoops. I have no idea what that just did. Did that just hide it? Weird. I said, everything's all on my fingers these days because uh, I'm going back and forth between Windows machines and Macs and the hotkeys that I use for one of the applications, PyCharm is different than hotkeys for every other app that I use. And so I just, I'm all over the place. Um, but I like this one, we're gonna pin this one. Uh, and let's do this. for real later see that cool um all right so we've got now we understand how to make those work so let's finish making them work which i think is this one so i can turn this stuff back on and i can get my player Call here. Let's do that and that. All right, did we hit them all? Didn't explode. It's not playing. Hmm, busted it. Player, all that stuff. All right, let's, uh, let's see if we can do it. I should have copied all that on uh, this is, um, making a mistake right now. Um, so we're loading it, it's calling in the right place, it's just not triggering the function right. Yeah, okay, so it still works. So, if we're here. So my 
console. There's my console. Okay, we made it here. If player, all that jazz, get state, player. Okay, we missed this one. Uh, maybe it's freaking out because of that. Is that what's happening? There it goes. We missed one. Okay. If I was smart, I would have played a video that actually had some movement in it, but I don't have any... I could have gotten a free stock video, I'm sure, but um, whatever. This is fine. Uh, just because it would be nice to see something moving to know that the thing's actually playing without having a look at the playhead. So that's it. The question becomes, and so that would work. Yeah, this would this would work um, as a as a as its own short code. Uh, oh, function sleep. We want to make the sleep have the hash as well. Sleep hash so that we don't override that. Where's our sleep? Where's our sleep? There it is. Those are the only two sleeps, right? Oh, come on. That's gonna bust it? Oh, I see, I didn't put the the JavaScript safe one. Work. Yay, all right, and let's see if it just happens to, whoops, what's all that? Uh, let's see if it likes us in this one. Didn't play. Also didn't play. What if we pause it and then play it? Unmute it. Pause it, make a new one. I was trying to get it to play sound. I can't figure out what the... Nope, okay. Don't matter. Uh, all right, sweet. Well, that's got it. Um, the only thing we're not really doing is this isn't the responsive design. So it don't collapse. And I would like it to do that. So we're going to make it the responsive design. Um, probably to cheat on this a little bit, I think. Um, so this calls... So it makes a new iframe. All right, let's look at... See, it's weird that it actually, does it, it probably calls at different sizes, right? Nope. Wow, it just calls that size. Okay. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I, but those, I thought 640 would be smaller than this. Oh, I've got like, I'm at 100, I'm at 150%. Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, okay, that feels about right. Uh, okay, what can we do? We can look at our existing YouTube short code. So we're just dropping it in that YouTube iframe. All right, now is it as simple as applying this to this? Surely not. Let 
made it disappear. That's cool. Except for, you know, the part where it's not cool. How does that make it disappear? Is it still on the page? Whoops. Here's the script that gets loaded. Here's our YouTube video. How does adding a class make it go away? What if we make the class something else? YouTube video. And it's going to disappear again, right? Autoplay. Plays. Play. Whatever. All right, so that's going to work. I don't know. So the thing that I'm wondering is if somehow YouTube video is a class that's freaking it out. And if we name it something else, it's going to work. Because uh, this is just... Well, let's go see how it works. YouTube video, iframe. All right, so let's copy all this. And what did we call it? My guess is this is gonna make it explode again. And by explode, I mean disappear, but whatever. Crap, oh, so it's not that. Actually, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have taken out all those comments. Um, the iframe will will replace that div tag. Okay. So what if we do this? that gonna do hey looky there and responsive that is a thing of awesomeness and it's playing yes it's playing that's it <sighs> that's really cool See if it's going to play on Chrome. And it worked. So there's the autoplay. And then still responsive, yeah? Yeah. And if we refresh the page, it's going to stop. start but muted right so it's not going oh come on I swear that worked Some messages have been moved to the issues panel. 
Okay, where's that? View issues. I swear this worked on... All right, hang on. Let's take away this for a minute. Playing somewhere. Crap, ah, oh, that worked, that worked, that worked, that worked. Maybe it was, maybe it was Firefox that it worked on and I didn't check it on Chrome. Not working there either. Is it still working on Safari, actually? Okay, actually kind of nice if I broke it all the way around. Nope, it's working there. Crap. I swear it worked on Chrome. So there's autoplay going in general. Maybe it didn't play on Chrome. Really? I didn't check that? I feel like I checked that. So let's, well, crap. Hang on. No, cause that wasn't in there. Crap. Went somewhere. Got eight browsers open, there's no idea where that's coming from. It's not that one. That one's playing. That's a bummer. It worked in Safari, and I th must have just assumed it worked everywhere else. I swear, though, that I checked it in Chrome at some point. All right, I'm going to give this just a little more time, and then I'm going to bounce on it. Well, because, like, this one, that's the problem, though, is this one is the one that I thought worked.
Let's spell that right. I'm getting tired. So that's plan for regular. If we refresh. It didn't plan at all. Okay, let's look at the browser state though, then. Can we see some messages? Where's our console? Come here, console. State minus one. Oh. State's minus one. If it equals two, me play. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. We may be okay. One, unstarted. Ah, uh, hang on, we may be okay. Well, so one, actually, let's see something. Hang on, I'm gonna refresh this because it's still counting down on this one. So it, it didn't start, but if I play it, here. And then I pause it, oh wow, this is kind of crazy. If I play it, where's my console? I need to be able to see it. Player states one. Now, if I pause it, it's gonna go to player state two, I went to three. Player state two paused. Now it's gonna mute and then it's gonna play. Okay, there's not something else tricky going on. So it's just, and so let's look at Firefox. Ginger ale. Wow, warm ginger ale. It's better on a plane. I'm not on a plane. Oh, it's kind of gross. Still gonna drink it. Yeah, so minus one. Okay. So if we play it, it goes to one. If we pause it, it goes to two, which will then mute and then go back to one. Got it. Okay. So. Whoops. What's JavaScript's or? Oh, that's not really what I want. How to use an org and an if statement. That's what I want. This is just two bars. Yeah, okay. Or. Minus one. All right. So. Hey, you played with music. If we refresh. plays without music because it got whatevered. This one Oh, come on, you can do it. Wait, am I working on the right page? Please tell me I'm not. I wasn't. Okay. Again, no idea which one that came from. Okay, you. So in our function here, or all this mess equals minus one. So that started. Refresh it. Starts on mute. 
Chrome. Refresh. Starts on mute. Ah. Started muted. Okay. Whew. I was going to be frustrated if that didn't work. Because it worked where I was. So now we can try putting back in our CSS. Div class YouTube video positive. How you doing? You doing good? Gotta go. Yeah, look at you. And you play with some music too? That's cool. You gotta shrink down for me? Sweet. That was Chrome. Firefox. How you doing, Firefox? You're playing muted. That's what you're supposed to do. And you shrink down. That's what you're supposed to do. Safari, he's still moving. Yep, you're already moving. Good refresh you anyways. Plays without the tunes, that's cool. Goes down, also cool. That's it. We got it. So. I guess the only thing you might want to do, and this would be left as an exercise to the reader, is creating, um, what is this? If, oh, I do want to put that back in. Just make sure these all still work. That worked. Still worked. Why it keeps playing, I don't know. And now it's not. No idea what the logic is. So you're going with music, that's cool. Let me just make sure it actually works without the tunes. Nope. Played it again. Played it again. Do I have to pause it? Now it won't start. Stop playing. That's not me. That's on the browser because my thing would mute it first. Wow. I've never seen it play that many times before. Well, I can't test it. <laughs> I can't make it stop. It's supposed to stop. I mean, if it did this all the time, well, actually, everybody in the world would be annoying because every YouTube video on every place would do auto thing and it would be music all over the place. How do you... I guess I just have to assume it's working. Oh, I know why some of them triggered. I've got my... Um, this thing's updating. Pages visited. Just got hit and updated. It happens every five minutes. Um, that's why it kept starting when I wasn't ready for it. Okay. 
Huh, Java. Funny. Uh, okay, that's solid. That's it. The question is, how much work do I want to do to productize that right now? Um, I think it, the answer is not a lot. Like, I can just put... Yeah, so we're, you can't do this privacy stuff. I'm hard coding a class, and the actual docs don't talk about putting a class in. It's for autoplay specifically, so there's no autoplay call that needs to be happen for it. Um, yeah, that's it. That's the short code. And it's all... It's all parameterized, 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 whatever that word is. So that you could put it on your page multiple times. <laughs> Let's do that. Uh, where am I going? Copyright free music. See that one auto played for real. I'm not gonna put I'm not gonna put two on the page. Like I don't want to jinx it somehow. Like there's no way. Well, it'd be on my local host. I just don't want like something coming across to Google that says, "Hey, AlanWSmith.com is trying to autoplay two videos on the same thing." Nuke him. I don't know what. Um, so I'm not actually going to try that, even though it's on my local host, even though whatever, like I'm going to go with that. You should not have played multiple videos anyways. So like, I mean, there's probably some use case for it. Sure. Whatever. But um, maybe we'll never need to do it again because they changed something and it just always has sound. Um, I don't know. But that's solid. I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. Cause I so I've got a I've got a thing where I want to try and do some music stuff. Trying to get stuff synced up. Um with different people in different places. And I want to be able to send them a link and have the link go. I'm okay with it if it doesn't play audio when it first goes, because I, I just want the, the time tracks to be as much as possible, and then they can turn on the audio. But when they do, I want it to be as close as possible to the source. Um, which actually, I guess, one other thing I should check is uh, YouTube. Wow, look at all that. What is that? Started October 1st. I'm going to get copyright hit with that. Uh, oh, actually, I wonder if that caught. You can just see all those weird symbols. No, I missed it. I closed it before it hit. Either that or it freaked it out. One of the two. Um, oh, actually, it's a YouTube. It would be on YouTube. No cookie. Oh, yeah, that's that weird one. Um, yeah, so I'm not, I'm trying to think, there's nothing else, I don't think I need to do anything else with this. Um, because it's playing, 
it's doing the thing. Oh, I know what I was going to check. Um, well, actually, I need to go to here. I can go to this video. I want to look at what the syntax for starting at a specific time is and start. Oops, ah, go away. Okay, T8. No, it probably is going to be start. Well, whatever, we'll do T8 and see what happens. Or T30. Uh, ooh. Wait a minute. No, we're not with this. There's my sample code. Oh, seek to. The optional start seconds parameters accepts a float or integer and specifies the time that the video should start playing when play video is called. If you specify a start seconds value and then call seek to, then the player plays from the time specified in Seek 2. When the video is queued and ready to play, the player will broadcast a video queued event. Five, okay. So... Load video by ID. What are we actually using? Video ID. Player, new player. It's not how we're doing it. Q video by D. Look here. Start at the top. Well, let's just do. Start seconds. But we're not doing that. Play. Q you know Oh my, okay, I'm definitely not gonna try this, but could you make it play? I don't wanna do that. I'm like you could, f if this works, it would force it to play not muted. All right, so let's actually try that. Well, all right, we're gonna try it. All right, so we got, we have our function here. So we mute and then we play video. And then we're gonna set the volume, but we wanna wait for eight seconds before we do that. So it's muted 
and it's playing. Does it do it? No, okay. I didn't think it would. Like that's that would be crazy. Though I'm not sure why it doesn't, to tell you the truth. Hmm. I'm actually kind of curious that that doesn't actually work, but it's it makes sense. I would hope that it doesn't. Yeah. Okay. So they they, they some people have done that and they saw it and fixed it, which I am not at all surprised about. Um, because that's a way to hack around the getting muted part. Um, and that's why I would have been surprised if it worked. Oh, look at you. Be responsive. Look at that. That's awesome. Why is one of those up? So now what I'm trying to figure out for real is the time. Player Vars. I'm at the bottom. I should be at the top. Player parameters. Oh, no, I went the iframe API. So there's our sample. We'll be Stripped right out of there. A portion of the code defines a global variable player. Which first the player execute button, yeah. On player ready function will execute on ready, event fires. Yeah, string with height. As mentioned, getting started. So instead of writing an empty div on your page, you can create an iframe tag yourself. The first in the example is just like this. Note that if you do write the iframe tag, then when you construct YT player object, you do not need to specify the values of width and height. understand what the difference would be there. Function parameters such as autoplay won't work in all mobile environments. Yes. Autoplay video element. Only else playback take place if it's initiated by the user. Through unsolicited downloads and cellular networks is the user expense. And better mobile can be played as far as That's fine, well, that makes sense. <coughs> It is kind of crazy that you can set the video uh, volume. I mean, it makes sense because if you have player controls, you want to be able to do that externally or whatever, but it's like, it just 
I don't know, it, you on the page are overriding the user prefer preferences a little bit if you use it nefariously. I'm just trying to figure out how to send a start time to it. Okay. This is looking like maybe we'll have something. Start. And then seek to. Supported parameters. But see, this is for just calling. I need it to happen in the iframe call. So load video by ID, how do we call that? Player, oh, do you do player, just make a generic player? Load and play a video, a playlist, or another list of videos. We're using the object syntax described below to call these functions. Then you can also queue or load a list of the users' uploaded videos. Player. Queue. Okay. Seek to, oh, okay, hang on. Seek to, number of seconds. Allow seek ahead Boolean. Allow seek ahead determines whether the player will make new requests to the server if the seconds parameter specifies a time outside of the current buffer. We recommend that you set this to false. What does it default to? Who knows? While the user drags the mouse along the progress bar and set it to true, when user releases the mouse. Holy crap, okay. Okay, so you do some on mouse up and on mouse down stuff. Interesting. Uh, is that required? Looks like it might be. So player, where's our play video? have to, what's the syntax for it? Object syntax. So we actually want to put On it. Screw it. Didn't jump. Oh, but it played without or played with audio. Now it's playing without. Now it's gonna seek. Nope, it choked. Fired again. Oh. What was that going to do? Just gonna keep changing things until something happens. Also, it's a lowercase s. Oh, 
Oh, it jumped. Okay, so that doesn't play, it just jumps. See if this jumps and then plays. So jump to 40 seconds and then plays. That's awesome. That is awesome. Um, so now I was waking out. Um, <sighs> so what you could do is you could put Yeah, so we can use this, get ID or nothing. Okay, that's cool. And then the syntax that they use down here is with get autoplay. If equals true, do that and otherwise do nothing. So that's a that's a optional call to look at the thing. So if it's a, if it exists, cool. If it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. Because what we could do where's our this page? So we're calling it. Well, what we could do. I'm trying to figure out if I want to use positional parameters or if we want to use name parameters. Um, I think we want to use name parameters. That's the safest way to go. So this should still work. ID equals this. Whoops. Oh, why didn't it jump? I thought it was going to jump. Did I take that out? wrong page that's my original one with the mute on it oh I took the seek out okay I was like why didn't go <laughs> um so we can use this same syntax I only need one of them. So I'm not going to put a number in there yet. I just want to grab it. Oh, with get seek. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Whoops. If equal dot true. So I think with moves that into the same thing. So that's get autoplay. So we're going to cut that, paste that. Dot. Seek. Not the one making the noise. Firefox, not making the noise. Uh, 
Uh... Make it stop! Oh, I can control the volume. Just realized that. Okay. So now what we want to try and do seek equals 50. That's awesome. That is awesome. I don't like YT Auto as the name. We're, I'm gonna change it, but this is pretty good for right now. So that's all the functionality I was looking for. Um, the other thing we can do, right, is put our same seek statement. Where is our initial play? Here. Oh, on ready event. Shit. Okay, we need to do, we need to put those in there too. Um, so on the off chance it actually starts up. It jumped to 50. It played. Okay. And it, and it jumped to 50. So that, that got it. It's very... I should turn it down. That's what I should do. Don't know why I didn't do that like an hour ago. And then just make sure if we take out seek, still loads, right? Yep. That's cool. So I want to rename that right now. I don't like that name. Um, First, oh, so the other thing I need to do, I need to change these function names because the function names, if you put the thing on the page more than once, would cause problems. So we can do that same thing with here. All right, let's just go through all this. So document create element script, that's fine. Oh, so tag, oh. We really need to parameterize all these things, every single one of them. Um, So tag junk equals that. Equals that. First script tag. First script tag parano para node enter before that. For a script tag, that. So that should still, okay, that might still work. Right, okay. Here, I'm gonna put that seek back in just for a second, just cause I like to see that. Well, I'm, I wanna see the full batch of stuff. Um, 42. Oh, 
and with music this time. With music this time? Nope. Hmm. You could play, you could... Better, you only have to set the seek one time. On player ready, we fire on ready. That's where you put the seek, and you only have to do it once. So, oh, well, I'm already doing it. Oh, so I don't need, basically I just don't need to call it here because I've already done the seek forward to the to the time. Um, yeah, so that'll, that'll seek even if the music isn't playing, right? It jumps, even, yeah, so it, that happens first. Okay, now let's finish throwing the parameters in for all the rest of the stuff. You know what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna commit that. Hashi, 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 hashi. Oops, won't do that. Do that. Okay, so. Function. Oh, no, 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 no. Shoot. Well, I guess this function, because this is a function that gets called from the iframe. Yeah, those are just gonna happen twice if you put the auto player on twice. I can't help that. I mean, I, I'm sure there's a way we could figure that out, but that would be tricky. Um, well, worst case is you could download all the code from that API call, put your own parameters in or whatever. But like, okay, this is it. Like, I'm I'm good. Um, the yeah, so, and actually, all the rest of that stuff kind of doesn't matter then. So, like, it just, you can't do it. Don't put it on the page twice. Don't autoplay, don't try and autoplay two things. Um, so that's it then. Because uh, it autoplays with sound, or it autoplays on mute. Like, that's the switch. And we can seek to a particular time. And it's responsive. That is what I'm after. And we got it. So... Just move it over. Uh, sweet. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything. We're bouncing off the player state so that if you pretty quickly, uh, yeah, so we could do that for 10 seconds. So it'll catch up every second and see. And we do it on all the browsers. Can we? Let's just make sure Seek works on all the browsers. Um, Forty-two. There you go. Seek to 42. Play. Wait. <gasps> I didn't play. 
Oh, come on. What the hell? It worked. We we it, we checked it, right? We know it worked. Is the seek messing with it? Well, that time it played with music. Okay. Get player state is not a function and jump at line one and two. Okay, hang on. Safari. But this didn't play. Oh, it still still went to forty two. Hang on, what's going on? Didn't play. Uncaught and promised type error. Player with all that jazz is not a function. At jumpstart player. So look in jumpstart player. Jumpstart player. Player get player state. One of these get player states is fried. Stays not a function, okay. Oh, the seek is still happening. Okay, whoa, 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 hang on. Okay, it's still uncaught, so something's freaked out in there. So it's not the seek, we don't think. Well, all of a sudden Safari decides to play so much, I don't know. It's weird. Why is that up there? Ah, there. Let's get a fire again. I'll be back. Oh, actually, can I back up a page? Whatever. Excuse me. Kit player state, like that's, we know that that worked. Okay. Okay. 
So because... Oh, uh, wait, where's the sleep? No, sleep's called. Um... I'm going to back all the hash stuff out. Because you really shouldn't play, you really shouldn't have more than one of these on the page. But I don't, but it doesn't hurt to do that. Like that's, that's. Here, hang on. So what if we comment all this stuff out? Jump player. Okay, yeah, we're in jump player. Actually, hang on. Yeah. If player state. Okay. We're going to back all this out. We're trying to find it. Oh, we need to be in Chrome. Failed to execute post message DOM window. Okay. Okay, so we didn't see that error. So now let's put this one back in. Still didn't see the error. So if we put this back in. Still didn't see the error. Oh, come on. And it's playing. <sighs> what happened? I need something with motion. It's playing. It's playing. I commented code and then I uncommented code, the exact same code, and now it's working. I don't like that on a couple different levels. Because why? Yeah, of course, you could abstract all this stuff out, he says now, uh, and just call them generally. But you'd still want to do the player stuff and whatever. It's fine. <coughs> I just... That makes me nervous. So let's put Seek back in and see if Seek was the problem. There it is. Seek is the issue. Except it's playing at the time. Uncut promise in player blah 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 is not a function at jump player blah blah blah. Whoops. Did it again. Now it's working. If I refresh it. So no audio. Okay, that's cool. Is it playing though? Yeah, it's in the right place and playing. And this time we didn't get the error. So when there's no audio,
we didn't get the error. We're at 42 and playing. Okay. So when there is audio, was that when we got the error? Here, hang on a second. Get player event, event target, seek to that. So that's on player ready. And then we jump. It's the same. Player, like, this is all the same, right? Everything's cool here? Yes. Because it seems like this is where the problem was. But no, it would have to... I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to watch it and see see what happens. Like, I still don't... There it is. Type error. Player state is not a function at jumpstart player. At index 119, async, that, anonymous. One eighteen. What does this give me? Uncaught promise. Is that because it hasn't loaded yet? I'll bet that's it. That's it. How about if we change this to... to this, it'll error. There it is. So the player's not loaded yet. Oh, that jumpstart player is a... Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. totally get the async function but it doesn't need to be asynchronous like the player is ready like that is the trick like we've got the on ready state or on player ready state that is fired which is the whole purpose of this stuff so we're gonna try and play it and then we'll look at the state every 500 milliseconds every half second but because we've been through on player ready before we call our jump start player the player should exist. So that error should go away, even though we're at 500 milliseconds. Await is only valid in async functions. So we're gonna put async back in. That's cool. Try it now. Yeah, it's still, it still should get past that problem because the on player ready has, like before we call the function, even though it's asynchronous, we've we've seen on player ready. So it doesn't it doesn't get triggered for the first time until it's until it's there. Um, so we should be, yeah. All right, that freaked me out. I 
I like I get asynchronous stuff, but I don't know how it works in JavaScript. But like I know that if you don't actually make a like just calling it, just naming an async function, I'm making the assumption doesn't actually call it. Like you have to call it. So if you call it after a specific thing and then it's asynchronous, cool. You've already crossed the threshold to get to wherever you need. Um, or you have to make sure you've crossed the threshold because you don't know when it's going to return um, or do its thing. Just put another pair of eyes on it. Um, we don't need that. Again, we're doing seek. I'm starting to get a little bit used to the syntax here. So these minuses mean chomp white space. Um, this is their, the way that you set it. And then you're setting after you get the ID, um, which comes in from here. Or you default to get zero, which is if there was no ID, it would just be the first position argument. And then here's another assignment from the MD5 hash function onto the ID itself. And you move that into a hash. Yeah, so starting to get this. And then hash you pass to safe.js to get what we needed there. This isn't that bad. Took some doing. All of a sudden, my mouse stopped working. It's like, no, don't, please. Um, and just to prove the point, where's our other? Uh, you. Oh, we're doing. Wait, which one are we doing already? I. I You'd think I've heard it so many times. Which, by the way, no, okay, it's a different one. Uh, this is the other one, right? stopped working. There it goes. Something's freaking out. Cool, so it didn't play. I mean, so it's not playing audio, but it's playing. All right. Firefox. One last test. Close this. Oh, it already updated. 42 seconds. No audio. Still moving. That's cool. Chrome. No audio, 42 seconds. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. That's it. Okay, that's cool. That's very cool. Um, I've been, yeah, I, so I worked on that for a few hours the other night or whatever, and then whatever, however many hours tonight, so. Uh, but it's, I like it. That's good. That gives me, that's a launch pad. My, something's not working again. Either my mouse is dying or my computer is dying. Because um, my, the scroll keeps freaking out and not working. Um, This is weird, but I'm going to quit PyCharm. Um, it's lagging. It's doing weird stuff. So, yeah. Um, 
that's it. I'm I'm super I'm super happy with that. Cause that'll let me kind of mess around with some other stuff that I'm thinking about doing. Uh that's that's a piece of it. Uh that'll be kind of fun to play with. So cool. Uh that's that. Uh I'm gonna maybe do something else. I don't know. Why does it feel like that font is not the right size? I guess it is. I'm so used to having them giant that it's um when the screen was smaller, but I don't know, I have to watch those to make sure they're cool. Uh What was I gonna do? Oh yeah. Um Oh I know what I was gonna do. Uh so 242 Add timestamp to Hugo drafts. Uh, so what I'm looking to do, and this is just gonna be some copy and paste of some quick code, I think. Um, so on the site, what I wanna have is two, um, two different things happen. Um, Oh, actually, I should make this. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of draft work, because uh, like right now, so stream notes here on the homepage, right, is draft and in red. But when I click on it, it looks normal. I should this should be draft and red just to remind me. And the other thing that I want to have happen is underneath the date here on a draft, I also want to have a full timestamp because sometimes I'm making updates to it and I wanna make sure that I see the cha the time change. Um, so we're just gonna put those in. Um, let me close all these. Oh. So, and we're gonna rename this. YouTube auto play. I mean, call it what it is. Lots of stuff just went red there. It's kind of terrifying. Oh, because there's a deleted file. Okay. Uh, and the homepage is going to have broken, right? Yeah, because I'm calling a bad short code, which I like. I like the fact that if you if you mess something up, it breaks and it breaks hard. Um, because you will see it quickly. Because nothing will work, and you'll you won't be far away from the error. Um, what you are far away from is figuring out which uh, of these to hit. How about this? That could work. We happy? We're happy. Uh, cool. And I can't remember if there are any changes on that. So, oops, error, error. Uh, Woodshed, Allen, Prod. And I'll just jump. That was weird. Uh, and so my thing with that is like I look at that and I'm like, ah, oh, it's such a long name. But I use uh, text expander type shortcuts, so like it doesn't. I don't actually have to type anything really. Uh, so I shouldn't worry about that as much. What is going on? I swear, it's sometime around this night, or this time of night, things freak out. And I don't know what it is, but it's kind of concerning. Uh, layouts, shortcodes. No, we need to go down to our theme. And then check in here. Uh, layouts. No, probably, well, maybe. 
Title. What's in the title? Uh, post title title. If I do that, what shows up? There it is. Found it. So that's one we want to deal with. And where is our homepage? Paginator? Where's our draft call that we have? The mouse is slow again. Index. Nope. Default. Uh, list. Summary. If equals draft true. Oops. Oh yeah, I was right. So it's on that one. But it's not on that one. Cool. Span style st st style color red close, and then. Title span. Big old red title. Went kerboom. Why did it? Oh, maybe there's not a quote there. Oops, now there's two quotes there. Surely it doesn't. Oh, okay, it does know about that. How? That should have just been bad HTML in there. It shouldn't have known any better about that. Um. Is it just else? That should make that go away if it works. Ah. So there's stream notes. And there's one that's not a draft. This will help me. Because sometimes I look at the pages and I can't remember which one's a draft, but now it's pretty obvious. Um, also, it's kind of obvious because these edits are, no, those edits are there regardless. So I can do those for finished pages or for not. And then the other one I want to do, here's publish date. that puts it next to each other. Yeah, okay. Whoa, did that just... I guess I was always there. Looked like something changed for some reason. So let's get it on its own line. One space off, apparently. Um, which is kind of weird. Okay, whatever. You go date. Format. Date format. It's possible my mouse is dying. templates from your date via strings that provide us with reference of time, blah, blah, blah.
Your date and time. Template reference date. Call via page variable. Uh, Monday, January 2nd, 2006. Returns Friday, March 3rd, 2017. The following examples show the layout string followed by the rendered output. I missed something. Oh, I guess you just pass it a general format and it knows how to translate stuff. Put in Monday, it returns Friday. What if I just do dot date? How about that? Uh, date time, publish date. Here, what if we just do this? What's this gonna do? That'll work. Doesn't need to be anything other than just a big timestamp. It's all I needed. So there's a draft, there's that. Um, okay, that's that, that's cool. Uh, that was easy. Knock on wood. Um. Should go to bed, but we'll see if there's any other quick things we can do. Uh, switch ideas. Make YouTube shortcut work. Checked off. Yeah, I was thinking. Well, I I need to get back to that, or I'm I'm going to get back to that um, Django walkthrough and tutorial and all that stuff. Uh, I was going to do that second, but like I, it, that has to be the first thing I do and I'll just have to burn, burn full stream on it. Um, or for full streams, full steam, full stream, full stream ahead. Um, let's see, set up HN so it doesn't borrow from Hollow. Set up auto play to trigger with without mutant browser. That's what we just did. Right it logs number of tabs you have. Python module, yeah, nah. I'm just trying to see if there's anything super quick to do. I don't think there is. Uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be the end of it for the evening. Um, yeah, no, like, I don't have any other quick stuff to do. Um, but that's fine. That's some good stuff. So I, uh, that's uh, checked off two things, and like that's awesome. Uh, progress, progress, progress. So we got our uh, we got our YouTube. I almost typed YouTube. I should go to bed. I am tired, so this is a good time to end. Um, Forty-two seconds and moving. Gotta love it. Can't ever figure out why it actually auto plays or why it plays with sound sometimes and sometimes not, but it's all good. Sweet. Okay. Uh, and then we got the drafts showing up, which is perfect because that helps me really focus on like, oh, this is one that needs to be done. Um, and my timestamp so I can actually see changes when the thing uh, alts and moves. Good stuff. I like it. Cool. Okay. Well, that'll do it for tonight. Um, thanks, folks. Y'all have a good one. Uh, see you next time. Be kind, and we'll uh, we'll see you next time. Be kind. Caught in a loop or a recursive thing. I don't know. See y'all. Oh, hits the mic. The last second hits the mic. See ya.